This unremarkable looking chunk of aluminum with some silicone filling solves some pretty interesting problems with things like uh, solar panels and even uh, inside automobiles where maybe you have 12 volts and you need 24 volts. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this and we'll see some of the applications you can use it for. Let's start with solar panels. Solar panels are notorious for any, you have a 12 volt solar panel and it actually produces something closer to 20 volts. Uh, in my case, I have some that produce 19 volts. Um, and so what this is going to do for me is it's going to take my 19 volts and it's going to give me 24 volts. And why am I doing that? Well, I have a pump that's 24 volts. Now, if I feed that pump 19 volts, it doesn't run very fast and it's kind of hard on the pump. If I wire two of the panels in serial, then what I get is I get 38 volts, which is way too much for a 24 volt pump. So what I need is I need something that's very efficient that's going to convert that 19 volts into 24 volts. And you can see from this, this will take input 9 to 36 volts and give me an output of 24 volts at 10 amps, which is a nice thing. Okay, so uh, let's hook this thing up and see if it actually does what uh, they say it will do. Let's walk through the setup. This is the power supply and it's going to tell us volts and amps that are going in. So the red wire goes to the red wire on the input and the black wire goes to the black wire on the input. On the output side I've got my meter over here and this is the positive and this is the negative and so between 9 and what is that 36 volts I should get a steady 24 volts output which we should see over here. So let's do that. Let's crank this thing and starts at about 8.4 volts and over here we're not getting anything yet and we crank it up to well, 8.7 we're starting to get 24 volts 9 volts got a steady 24 10 11 12 13 14 15 17 18 we're still holding very steady 24.15 i'll take that that's a very good thing, and yeah, this maxes out my meter, so or my uh, power supply rather, at 32 volts, and we're showing a steady 24 volts. So what would we use this thing for? Well, does this really work? Well, let's clip it up. Here's the pump. This is going to be a little bit loud, so um, put my finger over it. it makes it a little bit better. So this is the pump I'm going to be using to pump water. Uh, again, it could be something like a water fountain. It could be hydroponic garden. You might be doing some irrigation, uh, something around the garden just to pump some water. Uh, maybe uh, animals, you wanna have some animals, uh, cows, sheep, whatever you're raising. You need to uh, pump some water during the day when you have uh, solar power. And yeah, this uh, does a very fine job. Let's run it through its paces. Well, we're varying the voltage a lot, and as you can hear, the pump is staying steady. The voltage over here is staying steady. So as long as I stay above the 9 volts um, and below the 36 volts, this puts out a nice steady 24 volts DC that I can use to run my pump and for whatever applications I need. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a very nice, easy to use little device. It doesn't take any uh, special uh, instructions. It is simp as simple as hooking up the input and the output correctly, and that's it. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home projects, whether they be water fountains, hydroponic gardens, uh, solar water pumps of any type.